Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in the following pedigree to tree died from recessive homozygous protein C uh, deficiency his sister uh, to one uh, six genetic counseling to establish what is the risk that her baby tree one uh, will have homozygous protein C deficiency. For the purpose of this exercise assume the frequency of the recessive allele for protein C deficiency in the population is 1 out of 500. What is the risk that tree 1 will have homozygous protein C deficiency? As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So first of all, Let's analyze what we see on this picture. We know that this uh, homozygous recessive genetic disorder, so genotype of this person, have to be small a, small a. And uh, what we can tell about uh, the parents of this person, because uh, these two people are phenotypically normal, we can say that these uh, two people are both heterozygous. So one allele is normal, another is defective. But uh, one normal allele uh, would produce normal protein and this would be enough for uh, phenotype of the person to be also normal. So uh, now what is the risk that uh, his sister of this person uh, is heterozygous. So uh, if sister would be homozygous dominant, there is no risk that uh, she would transfer this genetic disorder to her uh, child. So we have to find the probability that uh, she also would be heterozygous like her parents. So let's build a Punnett square. So parent 1 is heterozygous, parent 2 is also heterozygous. And according to the Punnett square, as you see, uh, this couple has uh, following probabilities of genotypes and phenotypes in their progeny. So uh, capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. And we know that this female is phenotypically normal, so we can exclude uh, this variant. And this gives us a probability for her to be heterozygous 2 out of 3. So now we have to consider that her uh, phenotype is normal, but probability for her to be a carrier would be 2 out of three. So now we have found that probability for her to be a carrier or to be a heterozygous is two out of three. Now let's find probability for uh, this person also to be a carrier. So in this case two phenotypically normal people may have uh, just like in this example a child who uh, would be affected with this genetic disorder. And in order to answer this question, probability for this person to be heterozygous, we need to use um, Hardy-Weinberg formula. And here is a formula. Frequency of the uh, three genotypes that can be made by two alleles equal to P squared plus to p q plus q squared and when we add all three genotypes we are going to get one or one hundred percent in this formula p squared stands for the uh, probability of the homozygous dominant genotype or capital a capital a and 2 pq stands for the probability of the heterozygous genotype capital A, small a, and Q squared stands for the uh, probability of the homozygous recessive genotype. And we also have to know that uh, 
all the alleles P plus all the alleles Q would equal to 1. Uh, in order to uh, escape confusion, in this formula, uh, P stands for the dominant allele A, and Q stands for the recessive allele A. If you like, uh, in this formula, you can uh, change uh, P to A and Q to um, small a. So, uh, now, uh, when we know the frequency of the allele and frequency according to our problem in the population is 1 out of uh, 500. So, that means basically that probability uh, of the uh, homozygous recessive uh, genotype would be 1 out of 500 multiplied by 1 out of 500. So this is probability that one allele would be defective or one chromosome and another chromosome that carries a defective allele also would be defective. So this probability that uh, this person would have two defective alleles. So if the frequency in the gene pool of this allele is 1 out of 500, then probability that uh, two alleles would happen to be found in the same organism would be a product uh, of uh, these two probabilities. Uh, here is also uh, everything is clear. So if we know probability of the frequency of the uh, recessive allele, which is 1 out of 500, uh, this gives us information that um, probability of the dominant allele in the gene pool would be 499 out of 500. So if we add these two numbers, we are going to get 1 or 100 percent. So on the scale, uh, 1 equals to 100 percent. So, uh, and we do all the calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And if you want to convert uh, your answer in percentage form, so you have to multiply the number that we are going to get uh, in our calculations by 100. So we are going to get an answer in percentage form. So if we know that the frequency of the dominant allele is 499, 499 um, over 500, then the frequency of the homozygous dominant would be uh, product of 499 multiplied by uh, over 500 uh, multiplied by the same number. And now we can also put a number here for frequency of the heterozygous genotype, which would equal to 2, multiplied by frequency of the allele P, which is 499 over 500, and frequency of the allele, uh, recessive allele, which is 1 over 500. And uh, basically... 499 divided by 500 uh, would be a number which is very close to 1. So uh, 1 multiplied by 1 uh, over 500 would be 1 over 500 and multiplied by 2 would be 2 over 500 or 1 out of uh, 250. So this is going to be uh, a frequency of this heterozygous genotype. So now uh, we know that the probability of uh, this person to be heterozygous, capital A, small a, is 1 out of 250. And if female, uh, so this is going to be, for example, female side, has probability of being heterozygous, which is two thirds, and if male also uh, has probability of being heterozygous, 
which is two, uh, 1 over 250, we have to multiply this probability. So, probability for female to be heterozygous by probability of the male to be heterozygous, uh, which is uh, 1 over 250. And if uh, these two people are heterozygous, they have 1 out of 4 probability uh, that uh, the progeny would, would be homozygous recessive or would be affected. So we have to also include this probability, one quarter, and as you see, our final answer would be 2 multiplied by 1, and by 1 going to be 2, and 3 multiplied by 250 would be 750, multiplied by 4 would be 3000, and we can... Um, reduce this by 2. So our final answer would be 1 out of 1500. And this is going to be our final answer. This is uh, probability for this child to be homozygous recessive and probability is 1 out of 1500. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.